Hi, welcome to another Mac 7 tutorial. This is number 37, Intro to Jitter, Jit Ops. Today we enter the secret world of Jit Ops and try to make them less secret. So, um, starting with a nice blank slate here, let's do, uh, let's review and do what we did last tutorial, which was to play a QuickTime movie. So, um, in regular MSP when you're working or Max, you type an N for a new object. Just type the letter J, and it's kind of nice because it always launches a jitter object. So if you get tired of always typing jitter at the beginning, it just starts out with jit, as you can see, and then you can type the thing you want. So let's type uh, QT, and uh, you'd think it would know what that was by now, but then uh, uh, type dot movie and uh, and then come on come on no there we go whoops boy my computer's really buggy today okay and then let's just make it 320 by 240 keep the size down and we've got ourselves a JIT movie object we're going to decide what to play to it we're going to say read um, I know there's a movie in there called Dishes, so let's just look at Dishes, uh, dot M-O-V, and we'll tell it to do that, and then we want to send it out to a patcher window, so we're going to type J again, get that jitter object, and we're going to type P, W, there it goes, patcher window, okay. So let's make that big enough that we can actually see it. And then we'll connect that up. And uh, I guess this is the quiz part. Let's lock our patcher and say, read it. And immediately nothing happens. And that's because we need a metronome to bang those frames out there. So always remember your metronome uh, persons. So let's unlock our patcher again. Type an N, because we don't want a jitter object, we want a regular old new max object. We'll type metro. Uh, 40 always seem to be a reasonable number for playing movies, about as fast as we can see. And um, then a toggle, perhaps, to play it. Connect that to there. And lock your patcher again and hopefully if we hit this toggle since it already read the movie and it's probably already playing it we can just hit it oh and there it is in beautiful uh turkish bizarre colors there are dishes going by on a table so that worked really well but today we want to do more complicated things than that so let's move this pack of objects over a little bit Ah, let's keep them high lit and in fact just option click on them and move them over here and let's uh, come up with a different movie here we used countdown last time and it's pretty different than dishes what we want is difference here so I'm gonna just put countdown dot mov don't forget the dot mov if you're typing it it won't find it without the dot mov and um, and then we're going to think about how to run these two movies together and herein lies the the world of jit ops so jit ops is a it's a mathematical thing it just um, takes a matrix and uh, there we go JIT ops now we're gonna stop here for a second JIT ops is one of the major players in jitter there's lots of things that use ops inside of it and there's lots of parameters and arguments and all sorts of things very very useful tool so we're gonna say JIT ops and then a space and put at ops OPS that's just that's just telling it what to do 
you, JIT Ops, are just going to do some ops. And the ops that it does are usually um, mathematical. So let's push a space, then a plus sign, another space, another plus sign, another space, and another plus sign. And, uh-oh. We've done it now. It turned orange. What did I do wrong? Uh, uh, oh, I'm pluralizing everything. Sorry. Duh. Uh, since it does so many ops, I'm calling it ops, but that was just the title of today's tutorial. There we go. Jit op. At op. There we go. See if that... There we go. Thank goodness for that alarm color. It would have taken me ages to figure that out. Okay, so what we do is we take this video and run it in the left side. And now we take our other video and run it in the right side. And then we take the left-hand outlet and run it back to this patcher. And we see that we still have our dish movie playing. Now let's lock our patcher, tell it to read the countdown movie, and now we're going to have it play the countdown movie. Boom. Okay, so what JIT op is doing is adding the two matrices together. It's every single cell it goes through there and it's like, okay, I take whatever the value of that is and add it to the value of this. In the case of the color white, it's already a one, so you can add stuff to it all you want, but one is going to be full brightness on, on any given matrix. And black is zero, so when you add black to things, it doesn't really change the background image. Now, what we could do is go find another movie and see if it's, you know, more subtle. So let's go over here to our browser. And there's our file browser. And moving slowly. And what you want to do is go under kinds. Whoops, I closed it. And then you want to click on video. And then scroll down until you find something that's a good... Um, uh, there's all our, our countdown movies. I seem to have more of them than anybody else. Um, but let's look at something that has a little more... That has a... I don't know, reset, I don't know why. Uh, a little more gradation so we can see what happens when we're adding and subtracting and things like that. Um, uh, let's see, what do I know? Crash Test. We always like Crash Test. It's kind of a gray movie, though. How about Dozer? Okay, so let's get the Dozer movie, and its name is just Dozer Movie. Since you can find it in your file browser, we know that if we say read Dozer Movie, it'll just come and find it. So copy the name, or if you can remember it, that's fine. And let's go over here, unlock our patcher, get rid of Countdown Movie, and put in Dozer Movie. Okay, locking the patcher again, read the Dozer Movie. Okay, so now, I'd like to point out technically that's a backhoe, not a dozer, but you probably all know that. So now we can see the dishes uh, going behind this uh, yellow arm of the backhoe called dozer in this particular movie, and JIT Ops is adding them all together. Let's just unlock our patcher again here and uh, get in that Ops thing and say, hey, um, let's... Uh, Let's do something else instead. Let's try multiplying them just for fun, which is the asterisk key, by the way. So just, um, that's a shift number, number eight. So asterisk, space, asterisk, space, asterisk. Okay, and then, so now it's multiplying them. Um, 
multiplying the remember the background of the so-called dozer movie was white if you multiply by one it sort of stays what it is but for these things that are not white like black things you're multiplying by zero which tends to turn them black so a good way to sort of um, blend things together would be to multiply them um, we, you can also uh, divide them invert them there's a million different things that you can do and if you uh, want to experiment with that I will demonstrate at length in the next uh, tutorial video and uh, we'll figure out how to put these together more ways and faster but this is the basics of it JIT op at op and then you just put your ops in there oh before we go let's just put one more in there let's try uh, simple oh, my patcher is refusing to unlock there it goes and let's just try divide just for fun and then we'll, we'll come up with some better ones later so divide uh, forward slash space forward slash space well actually let's be more interesting let's uh let's say plus space minus space multiply and that way it'll do three different things and we'll learn something that I had almost forgotten to say and that is that when you do this it's going to add the red subtract the green and multiply the blue so it and it, so it takes each different color plane and treats it differently so the red plane of matrix A gets added to the red plane of matrix B. The green plane of matrix A gets subtracted from the green plane of matrix B. The blue plane of matrix A gets multiplied with the blue plane of matrix B. I hope I said that all right, and I hope it was interesting. I will catch you next time around, and in the meantime, have fun, patch well, see you soon.